In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can assign your ed puzzles to your students if you are not using a learning management system that integrates with ed puzzles such as Seesaw, or you don't have a learning management system at all. It's very simple to do, so we're going to walk through the steps. First thing I'm going to do after logging into ed puzzle is I'm going to go to my content folder and I'm going to find which ed puzzle I want to assign my students. So let's say, for instance, this one I want to assign that's ready to go. So once I've clicked on it, I have these menu options up here. I'm going to click Assign. And if this is the first time you're assigning one to your students, you're going to have to create a class. So you will click on Add New Class, and then you will click the button Create New Class. You're going to give your class a name over here at the top. Description is optional. You don't have to put anything there. You will select your grade level and then you can select your subject area. So if you're general ed, you can click on that, and then you will click Create Class. Once you have your class created, we're going to select the class we're assigning this to. We're going to be assigning this to the entire class. I don't have any students in my class right now. They're going to self-enroll. And you have some other options here on the side. So if you want this to um, start today, meaning it's available to the students today, or start at a later date, you can switch that there. If you have a due date in mind, you can put that in here. By default, prevent skipping is on, which means the students can't fast forward through your video. They have to watch the entire thing before they get to each question that you have embedded. And if you would like to turn on closed captioning, that is off by default, but you can click that back on. And if it's available for the video, the closed captioning will turn on. So once I have everything set the way I want it, I'm going to click Assign. And my video has been assigned to the class I created. However, we, if this is the first time, again, my students are going to be accessing Edpuzzle. They can get to it, the easiest way to get to it is the way I'm about to show you, which is to give them direct access. So by direct access means you're going to give them a hyperlink that will bring them directly to this video and also self-enroll them in your class. To do that, after I have assigned it, you'll see this button here that says Share Assignment. So I'm going to click Share. So this first option here, assignment link, provide your students with direct access. So this link gives them direct access. So I'm going to copy this link. So if you are a Seesaw user or you don't have a learning management system and you use something like OneNote, any means to which you are giving your students digital content, you're going to copy that link and paste it into one of those digital formats. So I'm going to copy this link. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to now pretend I'm a student. So I'm going to open up an incognito web browser window, and I'm going to paste that link into my browser. So this is what the students will see. So when they click on that link, they'll get this message here. That's just got a whole lot more interesting. So if you are in a Google or Microsoft district, in our case, we are in a Microsoft district. If the students have never used Edpuzzle before, they would click sign up and when you click sign up all they need to do is click on sign in with microsoft and it will bring them directly in they don't have to put a credentials in because it's their devices will automatically pick that up if they have used edpuzzle before they are just going to use the same button here sign in with microsoft and it will pick up their credentials and it will bring them directly in. So they've clicked the Microsoft login button. It brings them directly to your video and also automatically enrolls them directly into the course. So we're looking at this video now from a student standpoint. And all I need to do as a student is hit play and it will play through the video. Um, and once I'm done with it, I will click submit if I have questions. And then as a teacher, you will be able to see their results.